Hey there guys, today we're going to be painting the Lizardman Warrior from Reaper Miniatures to the ultimate level standard. The first thing we want to do is grab a scalpel or have a sharp blade and just trim the casting line off of the model. Make sure you're very careful and you always cut away from yourself. Ultimate level miniatures come with a base and a little pot of gravel. Grab yourself some super glue and carefully stick him to his base. Watch out as some brands can be quite runny and you'll end up sticking him to yourself, your desk or the cat. Pop a bit more glue on top of his base and sprinkle some gravel on top. Once that is dry, add a little more glue and then dip him in a cup of salt to fill in any gaps. I've base coated the entire model with military green using my airbrush, but you can do this by hand if you don't have one. Cover the top of his base in basic dirt, making sure that you avoid his feet. Once this is dry, mix basic dirt with brown sand. Use an old brush to mix the paint, wipe most of it off on a rag and then lightly dry brush this over the top of the base to bring out the detail. Start by layering his skin with a half and half mix of military green and gold skin. Just paint this over the model's skin, avoiding the creases and recesses. Add more gold skin into the mix and repeat this step, leaving some of the previous layer showing around the edges. Finally, add even more ghoul skin into the mix and repeat, painting only the upper edges of each part of his body where the light would catch. For his chest, mix up some military green and bronze shadow. Paint this over his chest and stomach area.
also used this mix to base coat the skull on his waist and the bone pommel of his sword. Add some bronze skin into this mix and layer his chest and abdomen up, leaving the darker base coat showing between each muscle. Add more bronze skin and repeat, concentrating on the upper portion of each muscle. Now add a highlight line on each muscle with a 50-50 mix of bronze skin and bronzed highlight and finish with a thin line of bronzed highlight on its own. Base coat the armoured scales on his tail and the crest on his head with a 50-50 mix of military green and sun yellow. Add in more sun yellow and layer this up, leaving the previous layer showing in the gaps between his armour plates. Highlight the edge of each scale of a mix that is almost entirely sun yellow with a dash of green in it. And finally use pure sun yellow to paint the very edge highlights. Base coat is shield with a 50-50 mix of basic dirt and military green. Add more green into this mix and paint each scale on his shield individually. Highlight the top edge of each scale with military green on its own. And finally, add a little sun yellow into your green and paint a thinner line inside the previous one on the very top surfaces.
Base coat all the wood and leather bits on the model with basic dirt. Mix some brown sand into this, applying the same principle as before of leaving the previous layer showing in all the shadows and recesses. Add a bit more brown sand into this mix and continue, concentrating towards the edges of each piece. Lastly, use brown sand on its own to paint the spears in his quiver. Use yellowed bone to paint the skull on his waist and the bone pommel on his sword. Also paint his claws and teeth with this colour. Finally, use old bronze to paint his jewellery and the spikes on his club. Highlight all of the metal with tarnished brass. And with that the model is done. I've painted the edge of his base with brown sand, giving him a quick blast with some matte varnish and he's good to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next month.